It would be helpful uh, if monetary and fiscal policy was rowing in the same direction. Is government spending a contributing factor to inflation? The Bank of Canada governor says yes. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. For well, months, perhaps years now, people have been pointing out that out of control government spending is contributing to inflation. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his trusty finance minister, Christia Freeland, they've tried to deny that. They put it all off on international factors, like the war in Ukraine. That's what's driving inflation, not our spending, not our tax increases, none of that. It's just other factors out of the government's control. Uh, under questioning by Conservative MP Jazz Halan, Bank Governor Tiff Macklem admitted that government spending is an issue. It would be helpful uh, if monetary and fiscal policy was rowing in the same direction. Are they rowing in opposite directions right now? Right. So if you look at what we've seen over the last year, uh, there's different ways to measure it, but one way to do this would be... Are they rowing in opposite directions, just a yes or no? Over the last year, no. Over the next year, there certainly, if the spending plans of all levels of government were to be realized, government spending, by our estimates, will be growing faster than supply. So and rowing in, in opposite sense, directions. Uh, that would not be helpful in getting inflation down to target. Rowing in opposite directions, yes or no? Yes. Now, Macklem tried to be political there. He's trying to downplay things. He doesn't want to point the finger at the government. But he's admitted it's a problem. And their increasing spending plans will make matters worse. Trudeau has to stop denying that when he increases spending, that he's not affecting inflation, that when he increases the carbon tax, he's not jacking up inflation, that when he increases the alcohol tax, with the payroll taxes, all of these taxes, they are all contributing factors to higher inflation, to making life more expensive for you and yours. He needs to get serious about the government dealing with it. More than two years ago, a Scotiabank report said that if the federal government didn't control their spending, their taxation, that they would just be leaving fighting inflation up to the Bank of Canada. And that would mean higher interest rates, which, well, that hurts you. That hurts homeowners, people with mortgages, people with lines of credit, businesses trying to operate. That's what the federal government has done. And then they turn around and say, anytime someone says, we've got to control spending, they claim that you're going to cut their health care. It's a false dichotomy. It's a lie. But it's all Justin Trudeau has left as he tries to campaign to keep his job at a time when he's extremely unpopular. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.